welcome back to another Tuesday. Today we're gonna be looking at some of the more unnoticeable mistakes sim racers make. We'll be diving into some data analysis and we'll show you how you can pinpoint mistakes that often go unnoticed when you're only reviewing your own replays. And consider subscribing if you don't want to miss any future uploads. Your pedals and how you use them are a big part of how fast you are out on track. And obviously you want to be on full throttle when going down a straight, but today we're not focusing on the obvious. We're going to be looking at the smaller problems that amount to a big time loss when they're all added up. When and how you get on the throttle can make a big difference down a long straight. For instance, when you get on the throttle a little too early or too harsh in a long corner, you're causing understeer, which is going to slow you down in the long run, although it may feel quicker in the corner itself. Getting on the throttle too harsh can unsettle your car, leading to a loss of grip and eventually leading to a loss of time. Now take a look at this example and see if you can spot what this driver is doing wrong that might be losing them time. Sometimes it's a little tricky to pinpoint all the mistakes from a replay alone. So when we take a look at the data over at tracktitan.io, we can more easily spot where we're losing time. And you can analyze your own driving for free for a month when you use promo code TUTORIAL1 when signing up at tracktitan.io. We see our driver in orange, while the faster driver who doesn't make the mistake is shown in blue. Through this corner alone, our orange driver is losing more than half a second, so it would be really beneficial to find out what he's doing wrong. When going through the data of this corner, we can see the pedal inputs of both drivers at the top of the screen. This shows us that the blue driver is more gentle on the brakes and the throttle, which helps to keep the car stable and gets him up to a higher speed quicker. Mistakes like this lose you a ton of time, but they're difficult to notice when you're only reviewing your own replays, which is why data analysis can help you level up so much. Your steering inputs also have a big impact on your lap times. Steering too much, too little, too slow or too fast could be ruining your lap times. When you're steering too little, you're not turning as much as you could. Steering too much leads to heated up tires, which will cause more understeer than any good. Again, these problems are hard to spot in game because the steering wheel that is shown in the car isn't a one-to-one -one representation of your own inputs. When we take a look at this example, it's difficult to spot exactly how the driver is making a mistake with the steering wheel. But when we turn to the data, we can see his inputs represented in orange and the faster driver in blue. When we look at the steering data, we can see that our orange driver is turning his steering wheel a bit too much, causing understeer and losing time in the long run. When it comes to steering mistakes, they're often hard to pinpoint. When you're steering enough but not as fast as you should, you're losing time. The same goes for turning in too quickly. You're asking too much of the front tires, causing understeer, and again, it's losing you time. And these are all hard to spot mistakes when you're reviewing your replays, but they're easily found when you're able to see your driving data. Trail braking is a technique that will make you faster through almost every corner, but like many techniques, it's something that can be perfected. Every corner requires its own approach, and the better you become at braking, the faster you will be throughout those corners. Getting good at trail braking takes practice and experience, and often goes hand in hand with trial and error. Sometimes you let off the brake somewhat quickly and you find that's actually a faster way through the corner. But that trial and error approach will take you a long time, and it's not the only way to uncover the hidden secrets of proper trail braking. We can speed up this learning process by, you guessed it, looking at the data. In our replay footage, it looks like our driver isn't messing anything up that badly. But when we take a peek at the data, we see that the orange driver is losing almost half a second. Why is this? Because he comes off the brakes in the wrong fashion. The blue driver comes off the brakes a lot more gradually, which keeps the car stable and allows it to accelerate quicker out of the corner. Most sim racers can handle their car quite well around the track, but often they're a little bit off the pace. You might be looking for a second or a couple of tenths in a lap, and you can't figure out why you're falling behind. It's very difficult to pinpoint exactly where and how you're losing that time, especially when you feel like you're doing the same thing as the faster guys. Often your pedal and steering inputs are just a little bit different 
from them. But small details like that are very hard to pinpoint from gameplay footage alone. Which is why it can be so useful to use data analysis if you're serious about becoming a better sim racer. We hope you've enjoyed this little look into sim racing data analysis. Be sure to check out Track Titan and use code TUTORIAL1 when you sign up for a free month of data analysis. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you in the next one.